What's happening guys and welcome back to another Arcade Collections video. Today we will look at the Watch Dogs series. Starting with the first game, Watch Dogs. This game was released way back in 2014. Uh, yes, this game is 10 years old. Time flies, doesn't it? So, this game here, uh, it received quite a lot of criticism when it came out, uh, specifically in the graphics department. There was a huge downgrade in how the game looked, and this is why I think you should never get too excited for a game before it actually comes out. For me personally, I didn't really care that much about the graphics. I, I loved the gameplay, and the graphics for me was good enough for the PS4. Yes, it wasn't the greatest. Uh, yes, it could have been better. Yes, it didn't look anywhere near the demo, but overall, I still enjoyed the game. So, as you can see, my copy is the DeadSec Edition. It comes in this uh, very neat box, I would say. It's it's got a it's got a thick car, um, you know, a thick build, and it comes with this um, card SRAM, which is a little unorthodox in its design. It's it is um, and it is a little hard storing this because of its because of the design. Because as you take a look in here, right, you have the the top one is 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 is, is fine, but the bottom has this little bit on the left hand side and the bo this bottom corner this is what makes it hard to store because you have to be very careful and especially for me I you know I the way I store things at the moment because because of the lack of space I have to put this um, you know in between in amongst other boxes so whenever I'm stacking boxes I need to make sure that this doesn't get in the way this doesn't you know get folded or scrunched up in between the other boxes All right anyway let's take a look at the back so uh, here it is. There is there is the back. So let's take off. So like I said, this is a card SRAM. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off uh, this and I'm going to show show you the back of this on its own, right? So all I have to do is um, essentially is slide this out. So um, yeah, it's really easy. All right, and there you go. I'm going to leave the box right there. Okay. So the card surround. There it is. There's card surround. It is for PS4. And by the way, uh, just in case you missed it, on the front there, it does say in here, PS4 exclusive edition includes 60 minutes of exclusive gameplay. Right? Okay. And uh, there's that's the corner I was talking to you about. So it is a little bit weird on it in its design. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so the back of this. Okay. Here it is. Right, and the Dead Sec Edition, uh, that's what it contains. The So the game, you get the figurine, the steelbook, the art book, original soundtrack of the game, a map of Chicago, four augmented reality collectible cards, uh, and three exclusive badges. Right, and there we are. Okay, and there's the bottom. And you also get uh, some PlayStation exclusive content. Uh, what is that? Four extra single player missions, 60 minutes of additional gameplay, which was 60 minutes is, is decent, I would say. And what is that? Uh, the unique DeadSec white suit and a hacking boost perk. Right? And there we are. So there's the back of it. Okay? Right, let's put this to the side and uh, let's go over the box itself. To the main box. Now, I absolutely love this type of box because it's a solid construct and you can actually stack them. So it makes storing easy. Uh, ish, right? Minus the little flap on the, on the on the end there. So <clears throat> let's take a look at the box. Okay. Uh, so here we are. Okay. There's the there's the bottom, and yes, it is dirty um, because you know, this table is a bit dirty. I probably have to clean it up. And on the there's on one side. Uh, there's on the back. The back doesn't doesn't really say anything besides uh, besides the word hacked, um, and that's it, right? And to open this box, okay. This is how you do it. Right, you have, to, you have to lift this flap first, so you lift it to the side, there it is, it's open. And by the way, this this here, this is textured, okay, and it gives it a unique look and feel. So so the box doesn't actually close uh, with with um, with no gap here, but there's a small gap and you can, yeah, having this textured uh, a little bit here just makes it, you know, makes it nice. And to open the other side, all you have to do is just <clears throat> slide this open, oops, and the and I'm gonna put this uh, on side. So there we go. And uh, there it is. That's how it opens up. Okay. And if I put this uh, a little bit to the side there, you can see the whole lot. On to the contents. So the first thing we see uh, is the game and a black phone box uh, on the on the right hand side, which we'll get into later. 
Um, it is lined with velvet, um, with a velvety, uh, it, it, you know, um, mold. So I don't know if you can see that, but uh, I'll, I'll see if I can um, get it up close later on, right? And yeah, it gives it a premium look. And I've also just noticed this just now. This mold here, right, where this, where the disc, where the case sits, is actually bigger. And I think it's because they can use this for the Xbox 360 version. Essentially, a money-saving technique, so that they don't have to print two different molds and, you know, all that. Okay, right, on to the game itself. So, let's start with the game. Right, here it is. And, of course, it does have to say not to be sold separately, because this one is for the uh, <clears throat> Collector's Edition, the Death Sick Edition. So, uh, similar uh, to before, it's got the um, 60 minutes of inclusive gameplay in here, right? Uh, and there is the back of it, right, in case you're wondering. Okay, and if we open it up, uh, obviously, yes, we get the PS4 disc right there, and a bunch of other things on this side. Now, this contains a few things. Number one, uh, let's go from the bottom up, right? A couple of things. So there it is. They're all the three um, booklets, flyers, whatever you want to call them. So let's start from the bottom. So this one is the Season Pass. There we are, available now on PS4. There is the Season Pass. Uh, what does that say there? Buy the Season Pass and get one week of exclus exclusivity for each item. Now, <clears throat> I don't believe I've opened, uh, I've tried the Season Pass. Um, there is the inside of it, right? There's a figurine, the art book, uh, in Dark Clouds. Uh, that's an ebook, by the way. And, yeah, uh, as I mentioned before, I don't think I've, I, I can't remember, but I don't think I've, I've bought the Season Pass. Unless... Unless the season pass comes with the game and I get a DLC code with it, then yes, I'm going to use it. I'm going to try it out for as long as it, it um, it's available for, and then that's it. Because um, me personally, I've never bought a season pass, you know, on my own whim. <clears throat> you know, if the, like I said, if the game doesn't come with the season pass, yeah, I'm not buying it. And here's the second thing. This is the DLC code, which uh, contains all the exclusive contents, you know, the breakthrough pack, the signature shop pack, and the palace pack, right? And inside is uh, basically uh, this, what it contains. So there's the exclusive content. There's the first um, uh, one extra single player mission and, you know, uh, white suit, hack and boost perk, and then you get the palace pack, which is the uh, extra single player mission. And those are the rewards there on the bottom. You also get, um, oh, this, that, and that's just to activate your game code, etc. you know. And then you have here the signature shop pack, right? Oh, sorry. On the left-hand side, extra single-player mission, uh, gang colors outfit, biometric assault life rule, and finally the breakthrough pack, <clears throat> which contains that extra single-player mission, uh, and the reward for completing it um, is the vehicle expert pack. Uh, on the back, if you are wondering, <clears throat> it just shows you that. Now, yes, the DLC code is down here, and yeah, I don't want to be uh, blurring it out, so I'm just going to cover it with the um, with the instruction manual. But there it is. There's a shot of Aiden, uh, Aiden Pierce. Okay. All right. What else? Obviously, the um, the booklet or the um, <clears throat> instruction manual. So there it is. There's the booklet. Watch Dogs, right? Uh, this oh, and Assassin's Creed for Black Flag, and it's not a not that thick, so uh, you'll probably know what, what's going to be in it. Basically, accessing the game tutorial, DualShock, wireless controller, uh, all the controls in here, in case you're wondering. There we are. Hopefully, you can all read that. And then we've got here the, uh, the in-game uh, screen, and technical support, warranty, and uh, yeah, and one page, two pages of notes. <clears throat> and that's it. Right? So that is what you get inside of the game case for Watch Dogs, uh, the first Watch Dogs, okay, for the PS4, all right? Okay, now, uh, let's put that out of the way. Below that, we have a steel case, which is this one here. So I'm gonna take that out. And obviously, yes, there's a few things uh, behind it, but I'm gonna see if, um, I'm gonna try my best not to make, you know, to make sure that that doesn't fall. So here is the steel case, uh, as you can see here, the steel case, is, uh, now this is weird because when you look at this case here, this is a um, an Xbox 360 type of case, not a PS4 type of case. Um, if you, in my other videos that you've seen, um, most if not all of the steel cases that I received in a collector's edition box 
has been the same size as a, um, a PS4 case. So let me show you the difference, right? There it is. There is the difference in size. There's the PS4 case. As you can see there, that is the um, absolute bottom. Uh, hopefully, let me see. There it is, absolute bottom. And there is the, <clears throat> the steel case. So it is much bigger. Uh, it's about, what is that? Um, a centimeter and a half, uh, you know, let's say half an inch uh, bigger. Okay? All right, anyway, anyway, there it is. There's a steel case. Uh, there's, there's also this little bit, I don't know if you get there. There's this little ding here. I don't know where that's from. Uh, maybe it's me. Maybe it came like that from the uh, from the store or from the um, uh, people who made it. Who knows? But uh, it is annoying. But uh, yeah, I guess it's all right. Uh, on the back, it just shows you, you a wire frame of what I'm hoping, what I'm guessing is the Chicago um, city skyline. All right, and oh, there's the uh, again. There's a spine, and inside, as I mentioned before, we get a map of Chicago. So let's take that out. And there it is, in case you're wondering that, there is the, um, the inside cover uh, of the steel case. Okay. The map of Chicago. <clears throat> so uh, here it is. And let's see if I, can, uh, if I can open this and show you the whole thing. So when you first, when you first open it, there's nothing there. There's nothing there. But you have to unfold this completely to, uh, to see the whole map. And let me see here. Uh, first of all, there is, yeah, the only thing that's shown on the back is that. <clears throat> okay, there it is. And if you're wondering what that says, it says remote access enabled. Oh, sorry, where's the middle of that? There we go, remote access enabled. Okay, so on the front, um, <clears throat> it's just that essentially. Uh, map of Chicago. So you've got there a Brandon Docks, you've got the wards, and then moving up you've got Parker Square on the left and the loop, Mad Mile, and Pawnee just on the top left. And there is the legend uh, for the map. Okay, and uh, if you take a look very closely here, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to fold this in half unfortunately, but uh, make it easier to show you. But if you take a look here, the map has all these different icons and those icons, uh, yeah, they basically tell you where the CTOS control center are, the gun shop, clothing store, trips, restaurant, coffee bars, you know, coffee shop bars, etc. And there, there, there it is. You can see it um, in here. You can see all these little uh, icons there. All right, and well, this is for the Mad Mile anyway. Okay, and that is the map. Below that, we have the soundtrack. So here it is. Right, there's a soundtrack, uh, there's a track list. Okay, and uh, I've never put this inside of a CD player, so I don't know, I can't, you know, I, I don't know what it sounds like. Um, but, yeah, there is the disc itself. Soundtrack. Right, it's a, it's a nice addition, nice addition. Okay, and below that, we have two things. So the first is this uh, set of three badges. So let's take a look at this. Now I haven't, yeah, uh, I have not opened this. So um, it's still in the plastic, uh, you know, uh, plastic bag, I guess. But you can see they are actually pins, as you can see here. Right, and uh, that's what they look like. Okay, this one has a shape to it. Um, let me see. There it is. You can you can see the little. Oh, the, the weird shape on it. The, the other two are just basically circular um, pins. Okay, there we go. And then finally, um, below that again, and this final uh, part, is this one here. This is a set of four augmented reality cards. All right. And this is what they look like inside. Okay. And uh, here's what they look like one by one. Okay, they are plastic, they're hard plastic. That's the first card. The second card we have <clears throat> is this. So essentially the cards tell you what, you, what you're looking at <clears throat> when, you have the, um, uh, when you have the app. Okay, this one shows you Aiden Pierce. Yeah, 
Okay. The third one, Clara Lil. And there's the back. And finally, you have Default. And there it is. All right, so those are the four augmented reality cards. <clears throat> if you're interested to see the contents of these cards yourself, uh, what I do is I suggest you download the H underscore IDE app by Watch Dogs. Uh, take a screenshot of this, print it out, and then use the app to see. Hopefully it works. Um, if not, I'll make a post of it. Okay, before we get to what is inside this box here, below that we have the art book. So let me take this uh, to the side. I'm going to put this aside. Here we have the art book. All right, so let's take a look at that. Okay, so there is the art book, so it, uh, and there's a spine, the art of watchdogs, as you can see there. Uh, the back just basically says, hacking is our weapon. Uh, let's go over these, just, you know, one by one. Uh, I'm going to go from the back to the front. Uh, but yeah, again, I'll, I'll be putting this um, into the um, it, my art book video later on. Okay, that's just a few. Jordy, there's Donna, the T there's T-Bone, uh, Nikki, Jackson Pierce, and yeah, let me see if we, I can find Aiden here. Where is he? There he is. There's Aiden Pierce right there. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, that is the art book. And finally, we have the figurine, which is inside of this phone box. So let's open it up. So first of all, the phone box itself, it's, uh, you know, it is a nice and solid box. It's got a Watch Dogs logo uh, embossed onto the front here. Watch Dogs in here, right? Um, there's nothing else like it. Oh, there's the U Ubisoft logo on the back here. Uh, and there's nothing else really. Uh, so let's open this up. So to open it up, all I do is just oh, pop this up. And there is the inside of it, right? And there's Aiden Pierce right there. So let's take him out and see this uh, thing up close. Right, so the figurine, right? There it is, there's Aiden Pierce. Uh, there's his uh, face. There is the type of gun. There's his uh, mobile phone. And that's his whole getup. It's, uh, there's quite a bit of, uh, it's not that heavy, there's quite a bit of weight to this, uh, so it's, it's, it is a solid, solid base. Uh, the base just basically says, Watch Dogs, UB Collectibles. Uh, there is the back. And, uh, yeah, there's not much uh, else that um, you need to put on him. Um, you can't remove this, his, uh, his handgun, you can't remove his phone, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's a nice, it's a nice collectible to have. Right, so there it is. On to the second game in the series, Watch Dogs 2. And mine is the San Francisco edition. There are actually two more editions besides this. The Collector's Edition and the Return of Dead Sec Edition. This one I bought from EB Games. As much as I would like to own all three different editions, living in New Zealand does have its limitations. However, if I ever did get a chance to purchase the other editions, I would definitely consider. Alright? Okay, so let's take a quick look of, um, of the box. So, it shows you, obviously, the San Francisco skyline there, um, the Golden Gate Bridge, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, that's all I know, I'm sorry, <laughs> unfortunately, but uh, yeah, that's on one side. And on the other side shows you the, um, who I, uh, Marcus, his name is, almost forgot there, right? And on the back shows you that, so on the back, as usual, it just shows you the, um, uh, you know, the, the game information. So from the top there, 
you know, enter the hacker's world, discover the vibrant San Francisco Bay Area, hack everything, enjoy shared blah, 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 and that is what the edition includes. So it includes a map of San Francisco, the Marcus figurine, uh, some laptop stickers, and lithographs, and also the digital content. Zodiac Killers, and you know, Deluxe Pack, you get Urban Act Artist Pack, and a Punk Rock Pack. Right, so there is the back, okay? Uh, the top, just in case you're wondering, just has the Watch Dogs 2 logo. All right, and the bottom just gives you just gives you that warning. All right, so there it is. Okay, now this is actually, if you haven't noticed, this is actually a card surround. So let's uh, let's take that off, and I'll show you the actual box. There we are. Okay, so yes, it looks the same, but if we take a look. On the back, now Marcus's uh, um, head and shoulders it goes uh, extends to the backs, and that is that is a glossy um, cover as you can see there, right? So it's it's very nice. Um, oh, I just noticed this. There's a little bit of uh, yeah, that's okay, that's okay. All right, now how do you open this box? So this particular box doesn't open from the top. Instead, it opens from the side or from the front. And all you have to do is lift this flap here. And there it is, right? Oh, and by the way, um, if you want to see what's inside what's uh, inside the flap, um, here it is. It just has that, right? Watch dogs too. So that is the flap there, okay? All right, now let's, uh, let's get into um, the, the contents. Okay, and yeah, when you first open this, the first thing that greets you is the Marcus figurine, all right? Um, and again, this will be the first time I've ever taken out the figurine from the plastic mold. Uh, to show you that it's still untouched, uh, to show you that it's the first time, take a look at this. All right, I'm going to take this out. Look at this. Look at the ties. I have not, there's, um, there's some cable ties here. One, two. I haven't touched that. So on the back, it's still, yeah, it's still intact. There it is. Okay, now um, for the purposes of making this video, I will be taking this out, right? So uh, bear with me, okay? Uh, all right, so let's, let's, let's take it out now. So I'm gonna untwist this. And hopefully I can uh, push this out. Of course I can. Let me see here, there we go. That's, that's one out. And now let's take off the top one. This should be a lot easier than the bottom one. Right, and this is what Marcus looks like. There we are. Solid base, Watch Dogs 2. There's his uh, 3D printed gun. Right, dead sick. Uh, there's his backpack. Yeah, and there it is. Right, there is the figurine. Right, let's put this to the side for now. Okay. Okay, so below this, so, so nothing else behind, right? Below this, we have a drawer. Now this drawer here, this contains everything else. So if I pull this out, uh, I'm gonna pull out, uh, oh, it doesn't look like it wants to pull out. Uh, that's all, yeah, that's as far as I, I, can, I can pull it out without, uh, you know, making a mess of the, of the, I think there's a mechanism inside that, that stops it from being pulled. Oh, no, there isn't, good. Okay, there it is, there's a drawer, right? And uh, yeah. There's a skull motif on the drawer. Great. Okay, first things first, the game. There it is, Watch Dogs 2. It's got an exclusive, uh, PS4 exclusive, play DLC packs 30 days early. I can't remember if, I, I, I probably used it, I probably used it uh, and, and, you know, redeemed it. Uh, but there is the back. Okay, and inside, if we open it up, uh, there is the PS4 uh, disc. And looks like we get a few things here. Um, yes, we do. All right, so from going from the bottom up, right? So the first thing we get is a flyer for wrench. Now this is the um, 
uh, as you can see here, it connects with Marcus the the Marcus figurine, uh, as you see there. I'll just see if I can hold it. There it is. Right? And uh, wrench, you can, yeah, you can change his mask, which is awesome. Which is great. Okay, that's the first thing you get. And then you have here, oh, okay, you have the, um, you know, the PS Plus, uh, yeah, flyer, which is, you yeah, know, standard. You've got a For Honor flyer. February 2017. Well, this game is uh, ancient. You have the season pass, right? Um, you have here the DLC codes for this, for the punk rock pack uh, and the urban artist pack. Um, on the back, just shows you how to how to redeem the code, essentially. Uh, why is that blurry? There we go. And then, oh, you have the DLC for the Zodiac Killer mission. All right, and on the back, yeah, again, the back shows you how to um, uh, redeem the code. And finally, you have the, <laughs> oh my god, the um, instruction manual or the booklet itself. And wow, this is a sad looking booklet. It's just that. Game instructions, customer service, and that's it, man. Maybe you can use this side, this side to um to write a few notes, but wow, that's yeah. But you know, it is what it is. I guess. I guess. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm quite fine with it. But yeah, that's inside everything you, uh, in the Watch Dogs 2 um, case. All right. Okay. Below that, we have the map of San Francisco. Now it looks like this is a quite a a, a big map. Oh, here's a here's. The, the back of that map, Horseshoe Bay, Kirby Cove, uh, Sausalito. Right, let's open this and unravel the map itself. Uh, this is, yeah, this is quite big. Okay, here it is. So I'm gonna go from the top uh, to the bottom, right? So you got there uh, Marin, you got Oakland to the right, you got Alcatraz Island, uh, Yerba Buena Island, you got San Fran, and Silicon Valley, and there is the um, uh, the legend car dealership, clothing shop, pawn shop area of interest, and you'll see all these um, dotted out throughout the map. Okay, so there is the full um, yeah full map. I'm sorry I can't show you this on the on the camera uh, for on camera. Uh, the back shows you a um, it's just it looks like it's a poster of the San Francisco skyline including the Golden Gate Bridge hopefully you can see that I'm sorry for the awkward angle again um, and the top just has that watchdogs and that right so yeah there it is there is the um, the map of San Francisco below that we have the series of lithographs there it is inside this neat um, carded envelope okay so if we open this up there we go. The uh, the lithographs are in here now. I haven't, I have never seen this lith these sets of lithographs up close because, like I said, this is the first time I've opened it. Uh, so if we take this out, um, we have here Marcus. The back's just white. Um, there it is. There's San Francisco. And yeah, San Francisco again. Right, those are the um, this, the sets of uh, lithographs. Great. And finally, we have the laptop stickers. There it is. And yeah, there is no. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I'll be putting um, yes, yeah, sticking this anywhere. I mean, if, I, if to be honest with you, if I have two of these, then yes, I would use one of them. If, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep this intact, right? So, uh, by the time I'm, you know, 70, 80 or something, this will still be like this. It's never going to change. Okay. There's a set of stickers, All right? And that's it. That's everything you get in Watch Dogs 2 San Francisco edition. On to the third and last game in the series, Watch Dogs Legion. Unfortunately, I only have the regular game. 
I wasn't able to buy the collector's edition because it was never released in New Zealand, as far as I know. Uh, and I actually think it might be because of COVID that New Zealand never got the collector's edition. I also did not want to buy the game from overseas because I'm afraid that the box might get damaged somehow during shipping, and it does happen. Uh, yeah, anyway, uh, onto the game itself. It's just a regular game, all right, for, this time for the PS5. Uh, and yeah, there is the back. Now, this one doesn't have a single protagonist, so you can play as several different um, heroes, protagonists in, in this game. I like the first two, uh, you know, yeah, you got uh, Aiden and, and Marcus. And inside, um, you get the PS5 disc and, uh, and the flyers. Now, what are, are the flyers here? Starting from the bottom, you get this, um, yeah, um, figurine, the uh, Resistance of London. And then you get another figurine, King of Hearts and the Dead Carnet. Uh, on the ooh, on the back shows you what is that uh, the books uh, yeah and then you have here the season pass for Watch Dogs Legion also included uh, is Watch Dogs Complete Edition right an expansion there extra missions iconic heroes that's a car skin blah blah. And finally, uh, it's the it's the booklet, it's the instruction manual. There is, and that's the inside. That's even worse than the second game. At least the second game had dead sick images all around, but this one doesn't. Ah, oh, it has a, yeah, it only has um, you know the, like a washed out uh, view of all the um, different characters you can play within the game. But um, yeah, that's it. Uh, there we have it. The complete Watch Dogs series. As always, thank you very, very much uh, for watching. Uh, thank you to all those that have subscribed. Uh, make sure you share, like, comment, and all that jazz. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao.